Hey everyone, Shadow9 here from Meta of Smash, bringing you another online ranked match. Today we're going to be squaring off against a... Richter. Definitely an interesting projectile character to see on Elite Smash. I see that Sm uh, that Samus logo though. I wonder if he uses Samus as well, but uh, it's definitely an interesting matchup for Samus here, dealing with the projectiles that he has and kind of combating that with the projectiles that Samus has as well. Also, dealing with the range that he has is also pretty tricky. He's wilding out a little bit here. Well, guys, like I mentioned there, the range on that whip, just from forward air alone. Uh, hopefully not quite able to get that forward smash on the ledge. That would have been a little sketchy, but you can definitely keep him at bay with side B and kind of catch his landing options. He's definitely easy to kind of toss around, especially with his kind of lack of air speed and... I'm not sure about his combo breakers, but it's definitely easy to keep him juggled with up air. Yeah, he's going for a lot of up B out of um, uh, just any of my punishing options, which really isn't getting him very far. It's only getting him punished, unfortunately, but it's want to land as many of these aerials as possible. Keeping him off stage can also be a strategy, too, because, you know, Belmont recovery and all that. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to watch out for those back airs, too. Away from me with that dash attack there. He's not really throwing out as many projectiles as I anticipated. Uh, that upbeat definitely isn't going to kill for a while. But, uh, I'm surprised he's not using like cross and uh, axe as much as as much as you really kind of expect from a Richter player online. But definitely cool to see. There's the, I'm going to eat my own words now. But <laughs> there's all those projectiles. That is definitely going to be the end of his stock, though, unfortunately. The way this game is two stock. Oh well. Gotta love Elite Smash for that uh, consistency of the games, but nevertheless, I'll make this work. I should be able to rack up as much damage as possible here and not really let him take my stock too early there. Forward tilt, not quite going That still hit me? Wow. <laughs> We're wilding out a bit. So I'm definitely going to get some more damage with the down throw back air. That killed him. That's some signature Belmont recovery action right there. But nevertheless, let's see if we can get another game here. Alright, here we are with game number two. It's probably the first person to stick around for a second game so far. No one else on Elite Smash really sticks around. And yeah, this, these are definitely two stock matches. Oh well. This is not one stock. <laughs> but again, same strategy as before. Just want to kind of watch out for those projectiles and kind of counter with as many of those projectiles as. M Can Shadow talk today? I'm going to try and combat that with the projectiles of my own. Side B and neutral B there. They don't want to stand on those, on those platforms too much either. Uh, up tilt can definitely lead into. Kind of a dangerous situation with up air, especially if you just jump in general too. Because the amount of up air range that he has is slightly nutty. So I definitely want to watch out for that and don't want to get hit by too many of those. He's, uh, he's definitely using a lot more projectiles than he did last game. Uh, is that forward smash? Not quite going to kill. But I uh, definitely got to watch out for, like I said, that holy water. And the axe too, uh, as I showed last game, can actually hit you even if you're just... Just chilling on the ledge there, it'll just knock you off. And you can definitely kill rather early. So you gotta watch out for that. Kinda even in percent here pretty much. Can try and land a kill here as soon as possible. Like I said, that axe, very strong. Definitely not to be messed with that forward tilt though, gonna take my stock, unfortunately. Still a lot of range on that. Still a lot of range on all his moves. But uh, not quite able to catch that tether. Zare can also be used to get rid of Holy Water there. Uh, try and bounce it in the air. You can even catch it afterwards if you really want to. Uh, and then kind of use it against him because it's an item. So if you're holding it, it's like uh, Rob's Gyro. He just can't use it again. So it's definitely useful to hang on to when you get that quick 50%. Turn that quick down throw fair here. Get him up to probably higher percent. A charge shot will definitely start killing soon, especially at ledge. At mid weights, it starts killing around around here. Maybe a little earlier. That depends. 
gotta watch out for that cross too. He can definitely rack up a lot of damage of his own too. It's definitely not to be trifled with. Let's see what he does with this grab fourth throw. Like I said, even if you hang on ledge normally and you think you're safe, you are not safe at all. Uh, from that holy water too, you just gotta DI up. So you don't really get hit by forward smash or anything like that. Whew, thankfully not getting hit by that down smash thing. Definitely in kill percent right now. Uh, it's definitely very, very scary here. Uh, I'm off stage though. Should be able to get a quick, quick kill here. That up air is definitely going to take the stock. <sighs> Slightly sketchy. <laughs> but uh, GG's. Well played. I wish it was three stock. It definitely would have been a lot more interesting there. But uh, nevertheless, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop a like. And be sure to subscribe for more content just like this. Also, you probably noticed we have brand new intros. Those are thanks to FGZ. He's a fantastic editor who made those for us. I'm going to leave his info in the description below. Go check him out. He's awesome. Also, if you want to play with us or talk with us directly, be sure to join the Discord in the description below to catch games or just talk about the game with us. And hopefully we'll see you in the next video.